Right before I touch second base, I have a lot of thoughts. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, we are gonna be world champs. So one of my favorite moments as a Yankee was um, the 2009 ALDS against the Minnesota Twins. Game two, we're about to lose the game. Ninth inning, Joe Nathan on the mound, three to one score. We have a man on first base. I get to a three one count and he throws me a 94 mile an hour fastball right down the middle. You know, in seasons past, in uh, post seasons that I had struggled, um, things really sped up for me and I tried to do too much and in many ways, I was my, my worst enemy. In this case, things were really slow and I was in a really calm place, really optimistic and confident. And as I got into that 3-1 count, I saw that fastball, I took a nice short swing to it, and the minute I hit it, whew, it was magic. I knew that ball was gone. I'm screaming at Mick Kelliger, our, our first base coach. He's screaming at me, I'm screaming at him, I'm running the bases. It's kind of like my Reggie moment. I'm so excited. And that was a brand new stadium, but it was the loudest I ever heard that stadium at that point. And when I came in, I smacked Rob Thompson, our third base coach. I'm jumping around. And when I get into the dugout, my teammates greet me. They start hugging me. It was like, it was like we were back in Little League. It was such an awesome feeling. And of course, that game, we end up walking off by Mark Teixeira hitting a home run from the right side down the left field line, and of course, it was a euphoric feeling. We went crazy, and of course, that led to our, our sweep against uh, the Twins that year. So my favorite postseason memory has to be the 2009 World Series, game four, tied game in the ninth. I'm up, Tixera just got hit, uh, Johnny Damon just stole two bases, and I get an 0-1 fastball. Well, I get a first pitch fastball strike 94 miles an hour inside corner and Lidge repeats exactly the same pitch. I was ready for it this time. I hit a sizzling double down the left field line, and I remember Raul Ibanez picking up the ball, throwing it to Rollins. Uh, Teixeira pulls up at third. Right before I touch second base, I have a lot of thoughts. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, we are gonna be world champs. I see Jeter jump out of the, the dugout. He points at me, I point at him, and at, at this time I'm thinking, Number 42 should be warming up right now. The greatest close in the game, Mariano Rivera. And as I look up, sure enough, he stands up and he starts warming up. That was uh, as good as it gets. I couldn't even feel my body inside the gray uniform. I, I was so emotional, so excited. And I, I honestly, I felt like a 10 year old boy again at the Boys and Girls Club. It was, it was such an awesome feeling. There was a great deal of pressure. And of course, I had some struggles in years past with the Yankees. So for whatever reason, going into that season, I just felt liberated. I felt I just had hip surgery. Uh, I had nothing to lose. So I was just in a great place. I felt like going into the postseason, uh, I ended the season with two home runs and seven RBIs to get me to 30 and 100. So I felt like I had the wind at my back. I thought we had an incredible team. We had pitching, we had balance, we had Teixeira. CeCe and AJ, so for me, it was the most fun I was having, but also, in a weird way, the least amount of pressure, because I felt like I had nothing to lose. But nevertheless, when I hit that double in that moment, I felt like a 20,000 pound gorilla came off my back. And, and of course, three days later, um, you know, Mariano throws uh, the cutter to Victorino, Gramba to Cano, to Teixeira, and as uh, Joe Buck says, the Yankees are back on top for the 27th time in franchise history.